All right, what's going on? Well, we are back with another review, and today we are reviewing the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Maximum Venom Miles Morales. That is a mouthful. Um, so the reason I didn't review him uh, earlier and I reviewed Venom was because I was waiting for uh, my brother to bring over his Miles Morales figure so I can... Uh, review them and compare them side by side uh, but yes all the other figures I have reviewed in this wave so far have been Morbius, Carnage, Phage uh, so obviously now today is Miles Morales uh, I reviewed uh, the Venom obviously before this one and then Ghost Spider is next and then after that Venom Pool so yeah box art on the side the Spider-Man symbiote logo legalese but enough of that so let's go ahead and crack him open and see what's inside okay and here we have venomized miles morales out of packaging and this is a good looking figure if i'm not mistaken this is based off the current spider-man cartoon that is uh, airing right now uh with their maximum venom storyline or whatever it is uh, i believe that it's just you know venom's on earth or whatever because thanos and guardians of the galaxy i, I don't know the full story i am not up to date on that cartoon series uh, but I assume that Venom was able to attach himself to uh, Miles Morales and maybe a few others uh, in that storyline. And we have him. Uh, but before we get into him, let's uh, look at his accessories real quick, which is, well, none. Except for the Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, he comes with the left arm of the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure. And yeah, that is it. Except, for, well, I guess he comes with a, a fisted hand too as well uh, for this arm. But no accessories for Miles Morales himself. So let's just jump into the figure. And yeah, it's basically just the same body sculpt that we've got before with the Miles Morales. Short of the uh, head sculpt, the hands, and these odd looking feet. Oh, and his, uh, his arms are also sculpted with this uh, veins that are coming down and they extend all the way to his hands I mean overall this is a really good looking figure head sculpt looks a little bit of a paint mishap there and there uh, but overall good paint apps on my head sculpt and these uh, veins are raised as well just like on the uh, carnage figure this, uh, the color of this suit actually reminds me a lot of like Spider-Man 2099. I'm not sure if that's how it looks in the cartoon, uh, but it comes off as like a, a shade of blue. So, yeah. Okay, let's look at his hands. Nice menacing claw hands. Here's some more of the sculpting details on his thing. I wonder what, I wish they would have painted these right as well. That way it just go all the way up. Uh, no sculpting on the legs. There is sculpting on the feet, though, so that kind of throws me off. Oops. But yeah, I don't know. Does this remind you of, like, a Spider-Man 29 figure? It does to me. Anyways, uh, so let's get into articulation. Uh, he does rotate full 360. Does have quite a bit of side to side. Can look down that far. Can look up that far. Uh, no butterfly joints, does rotate 360 at the shoulders, can go out that far, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, there you go, uh, wrist swivel and hinges in and out, upper ab crunch, can go back that far, can go forward that far, lower ab twist, ball jointed legs, uh, can go out that far, not too far, but not too bad. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot cup swivel, and typical has ankle rockers that do go side to side very well. But yeah, overall this is an amazing looking figure. Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump into the comparison of the old Miles Morales figure that we got. So as you can see, uh, it's basically the, the same figure, just repainted, different head sculpt, different hand sculpt, different feet sculpt. 
Uh, so, I mean, I guess it's not too bad. It's not just a straight repaint. There are some new stuff to it. Uh, we didn't just get like a head swap and then called it a day. We got some new arms, some new hands, some new feet, uh, new paint deco. Uh, but yeah. All right. Then we'll compare them to Morbius, the other figure in this line. Sorry, uh, this figure is actually really small. So I had to like lower my camera quite a bit to get him into a frame where I could still reach him. Uh, but that is the size comparison between him and Morbius. Okay, then we have him next to the Carnage. Okay. Of course we have him next to Phage. Okay. Then we'll throw him next to Venom. So, as you can see, we basically have the shortest figure and the tallest figure in the wave next to each other. I gotta scoot him back to really get Venom in frame. There he goes. This guy just towers over him. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. You have Venom and Miles Morales. Then just to compare, we'll have him next to Spider-Gwen in the other Miles Morales 2-pack. There we go. Okay, so that is the uh, Spider-Miles Morales figure. Overall, I think uh, looks-wise, this one is probably one of my favorites out of the wave. Uh, I think overall I still prefer the uh, movie Venom. Uh, but this one is probably a close second, then Carnage a third. Uh, but we still have one more to review and then the Builder figure. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like my videos. It really helps me out. Until next time, guys. Later.